Now for the third time in just over a week, an HISD elementary school teacher has been charged with indecency with a child. Tonight we're learning about charges against a 74-year-old substitute teacher accused of inappropriately touching students. Three teachers are facing charges tonight suspected of touching students at three different schools. Channel 2 anchor Keith Garvin live at Cunningham Elementary near Bel Air with the newest information tonight. Keith? Dominic, Andy, probable cause documents paint a picture of an alleged sexual assault that took place last year in the middle of a classroom full of students here at Cunningham Elementary School. We wanted to know why it took so long to release this information. An HISD substitute teacher charged with what probable cause documents describe as an aggressive sexual assault of a nine-year-old girl. What we've learned about the teacher, Comrel Hake, is that he's a 74-year-old substitute teacher who was working at LT Cunningham Elementary in January of last year. On the 17th of that month, the nine-year-old says she raised her hand to ask Hake how to spell a word. When he walked to her desk to help, she claims he placed his stomach on her back and leaned into her. She says when she pushed back, Hake placed his hands on her shoulder, then moved his hands to her chest and fondled her. She says she knocked his hands away and tried to run, but Hake grabbed her and pulled her back down to her seat. Hake is the third HISD employee charged in two weeks with indecency with a child. All three incidents occurred in January of 2019, and we asked HISD why it took 13 months to release that information. In a statement, a spokesperson says in each of the recent cases, the district followed its existing protocol of immediately reassigning the accused staff member to home duty. Additional action followed when the district was able to substantiate allegations. They add HISD's reviewing steps taken in each of the recent cases involving student allegations of inappropriate conduct. And back here live, Comrade Hake is out of jail on a $10,000 bond. He's scheduled to appear in court again tomorrow for a preliminary hearing to determine if there's enough evidence to proceed with a trial. Reporting live near Bel Air, Keith Garvin, KPRC, Channel 2 News.